It's time for another It's a Wonderful Lifetime interview. And joining us today to speak about rebuilding a dream Christmas is Zane Stevens. Hello, Zane. What's up, man? How are you? Ah, oh, feeling jolly. Can you, I'm burning up in this. I gotta take this off. How dare I? You look I great, bro. You look like right out of a magazine, man. <laughs> well, I should be in the TJ Maxx commercial. TJ Maxx, <laughs> give me a call or Old Navy One. You know, so love it or Target. No, you look. It's hard. You have like the red, so it's kind of targeting. All right, I need the Target dog bullseye. Dog. You know, we'll stick him right up here. Well, you know, on the box. Right. You know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, happy holidays to you. Thank you, buddy. You as well. Can you believe it? Christmas is practically almost here. It's right around the corner. Mm. So close. I hope you've done all your Christmas shopping. Yes. Oh, if people didn't do that, like, like probably the first of November, they're probably not going to get any gifts now. You know, because they kept have... saying the chain <laughs> shortage and all that stuff. And yeah, oh, I, yeah, I have. I have. Cool. My son wants a switch that Mario Kart switch thing, mm. and I got a text. It's like, hey, get it the first week of November because it will not last. And so, and I didn't get it. I thought someone was kidding. And so, then like they kept saying, hey, it's restocked. Get it now. It's restocked. It was gone, gone in like two hours, man. It was crazy. What? People it's really crazy. are buying early then, aren't they? I mean, so I, now, got what, I got what it. What do your little kiddos want for Christmas then? Uh, how, want, how is Santa going to bring them gifts? Uh, well, they, they want to switch for sure. <laughs> My oldest wants a watch. It has a snake on it. I, I don't know. He's six. Um. A watch and, with a snake on it? Yeah, he. so I think he's fascinated by things he's scared of, right? Um, so I think he's scared of snakes, but he, he's yeah. fascinated with them. Uh, so he wants a, a watch with a snake on it. He wants a Mario Odyssey, that game for Switch. They love uh, Mario. Yeah, loves Mario, man. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, I mean <laughs> that's really all they really want, both of them. My, my youngest is four, and he wants whatever the oldest wants, so. So he looks up to the oldest one and is like, maybe he'll want a snake watch. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Uh, if Cash, my oldest, says something, my youngest uh, will say the exact same thing. Always. Uh, uh, now, do you and your wife take the kids and, you know, let them sit on Santa's lap at the mall? Do y'all do that sort of thing? We, we don't. Uh, not that we're opposed to it. It's funny, you know, mm. both of our families are not where we are. So we have to travel to both of our families. And so we usually do like Thanksgiving and Christmas during Thanksgiving with one family mm -hmm. and then Thanksgiving and Christmas during Christmas with the other. And so this Thanksgiving, we were with uh, my in-laws yeah. and there was a tree and we were celebrating Christmas. Right. And I asked my oldest, I said, um, so does Santa come on Christmas? Yeah. And Santa brings the presents. Yeah. I said, well, it's not Christmas, though. So who brought the presents? He's like. Mima. <laughs> <laughs> so it just from that point on, he just like realized, you know what, Santa's cool to believe in um, as a story, but it's it's probably he's probably not not flying Rudolph from the North Pole mm. at Christmas Eve night. Anyway, you know, I have a twin sister, and I think one time when we were like in elementary school, the teacher, I think it was our second grade teacher, she gave us like some reindeer type powder that we could throw out there on the grass. So then yeah. Rudolph could get it, you know, so then Santa would know where to, you know, land at to get the gifts right. in the house. That is so neat. I saw, it, I mean, it has to be great to relive the magic within your kids and let them believe in Santa and get all <clears throat> giddy excited on Christmas morning. Um, yeah, no, they, they, um, you know, the, the excitement is, 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 I mean, it's, it's, they have so much joy. I mean, they come down the steps on Christmas morning and early, is it early in the morning? Oh, God, I used dude. to wake it's, up like it's, at four, three in the morning. Five, my oldest gets me up at five thirty every day. Uh, every, <laughs> it doesn't matter what day, Christmas, <laughs> whatever. It's every day he gets me at five thirty. So, uh, you know, he they come downstairs and <clears throat> you know I'll go down and I'll film them and let my wife bring them down and mm -hmm. they just see like all the presents and they're like, oh, like speechless, man. Like they they can't what? they don't have they have no words. They're just like, and then twenty minutes goes by run through all the presents, open up, and then it's done. It's like, man, that was so much effort for 20 minutes. It's crazy. <laughs> uh, but no, they love it. It's, it's, they, they, they have a great time. And it's really, it's, you know, as a parent, um, it's, it's super cool to see your kids have so much excitement. You know, it's yeah. just, it's a good feeling. Yeah, so. it really warms your heart. Now, do you guys mm -hmm. do the elf on the shelf sort of situation? Like if the kids misbehave, oh, the elf. Who came up with the elf on the shelf anyway, Zane? I was like, this is, 
Whatever. I don't know. No, I don't know who came up with it. Uh, I know all of my friends that have kids talk about it. We have not gotten into Elf on the Shelf. Um, but my oldest, Cash, has been saying, "If Daddy, if I disobey, am I on the naughty list? <gasps> so they know and what I'm the like, nice and the naughty <laughs> list is. Yeah, and, and I'm like, well, no. You know, you're not on the naughty list just because you disobey or, you know, whatever. But uh, the goal is to behave, right? The goal is to listen. <laughs> so let's try to do that. Um, and, 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 and we'll all be a lot happier. Uh, yeah. We'll all be a lot more peace. Uh, but no, they, you know, they, they're more concerned with, I, I really threatened them. I was like, hey, listen, if you open any of your presents before Christmas, back to the store, bro. Uh-huh. What about you? So what's Santa going to bring you, man? Oh, I, I don't even know. I, I feel like I don't need anything. I'm already grateful for what I have, you know? Like, I feel mm -hmm. like when you get to a certain age, you already yeah. think, you know, I'm grateful for everything that I have, you know, life, good health, and then you're like, I don't really know what I need. Except I will say, Zane, I would like one of those new iPads. Those mm. things are the coolest things. You know, when I was at the L.A. airport, because it's no strange thing, I, you know, went to go interview the Grinch. And when yeah. I was coming back and, you know, you sit there at your gate, there was like these kids that had these big monster iPads, these new ones that you can draw and doodle and do every sort of thing with. And the camera will follow you everywhere you go. So like if you, you know, if you're like too far on the edge of the, uh, of, you know, of the camera, it will right. like move to put you back in the middle. That's cool. I want one of those. Yeah. I'm Let's get on one list. of those, Zang. We want yeah. one of those. They're like $500, but Santa can bring it. You know, Santa like, can bring it, even though we're close to Christmas. You know what? He's got it. <laughs> He's going to bring us an iPad. If he doesn't, we're going to hold him hostage. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. We're not going to, you know. No um, Cheetos and cookies for him if I don't get an iPad. Cheetos? Oh, now, what do you guys leave out? I mean, y'all don't leave Cheetos out, do you? I just matter of fact, I just got done eating Cheetos. So that's so funny. <laughs> what, do you, what, do you have, what do you have against it? me? What do you have against me giving Cheetos to Santa, man? Oh, there's nothing against that. I don't know if that was like a thing. I'm like, Cheetos? I'm like... Uh, no, we no, we usually do We usually do whatever, like, uh, whatever snacks we have, which are usually Cheetos um, yeah. and, and, and animal crackers. My kids love animal crackers. Oh, uh, doesn't actually, every kid love that? They love. And Pirate's Booty, man. That's like the big thing in the house what? right now. Pirate's I, Booty? It's like, a, it's like a popcorn, but it's called oh. Pirate's Booty. So Santa will get some Pirate's Booty. I'll probably get some Cheetos and some animal crackers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a nice little treat for Santa, you know? Just... Maybe I'll, I'll throw in some, like, cucumbers. I need some greens, maybe, you know? Yeah. Maybe some cucumbers. All right, so let's talk about your new Lifetime Christmas movie, Rebuilding a Dream Christmas. So successful real estate broker Abby is forced back to her hometown to repair a Victorian house she inherited from her grandmother. She decided to sell the house and hire a single dad, Josh, which is when you come into play, to help with the repairs. Uh oh. So, what attracted you to this holiday movie, Zane? You know, it's funny. Uh, the the director Sandra and her husband, the DP Isaac. I had uh -huh. just shot a movie with them, and they we were on set, and they said, "Hey, we're shooting a Christmas movie in a couple weeks. Would you be interested?" And I was like, um, "I mean, yeah." Uh, it's and every so, actor's dream. You know? Yeah, no, it's great. Project to project. I was like, sure, uh, yeah, sure, send me a script. Let's read it. Um, and so I read it. I was like, hey, it's great. And then I went through the audition process and um, got the job. And so it was, it was awesome. Look at there. Now, if you could have a dreamy Christmas, what would that look like to you, Zane? A dreamy Christmas. Ooh. Like rebuilding a dream Christmas, yeah. but a dreamy Christmas. A dreamy ah. Christmas, man. So here's the deal. I'm a sucker for the beach and warm weather. Mm -hmm. So a dreamy Christmas would be, uh, I wake up in Hawaii <gasps> I want on the beach there. with Christmas lights everywhere. And we do presents then and we go for a swim. And then I hop on a plane and fly to Colorado where I can uh, snow ski and then fly back to Hawaii. That'd be, the, that'd be a dream <laughs> Christmas. A little cold, then go back to the warm weather, you know? Yeah. No, no. I, it's just to see the snow for the day. Uh, but to not have to exist in it longer than I want, and then go back to go back to the beach. <laughs> that would now, be that would be amazing. I want to say it's Christmas Eve Eve. Did you hear that, Zane? It's Christmas yes. Eve Eve. Christmas now, Eve's I, Eve. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's like a thing. People started. It's like a thing that I saw on Twitter, and I was like, okay, this must be a thing. It's Christmas Eve Eve, so people celebrate yeah. 
not only Christmas Eve, but they celebrate the Eve before the Eve. Yeah. Not too much Eve. We should start celebrating the Eve before the Eve before the Eve. Uh, hate, hate all the Eves out there. <laughs> anyway, so Zane, how are you spending the holidays this year? Are there any traditions that you do with your family as it gets real close to the big Christmas day? Yeah. Um, so my family will be together this Christmas. And like the main tradition that we do, uh, is just, it's not my favorite, but it's a tradition. So I, and the kids love it. So I just smile and go with it. But uh, it's we, we, we sing and act out. Uh, the 12 days of Christmas. And what? so everyone, yeah, okay, it's, it gets good, man. You're going to add it to your Christmas traditions for sure. Um, <laughs> everyone gets a day uh -huh. and they have to act it out. So if you're a partridge mm -hmm. in a pear tree, you like, you know, stand and do your little thing every time when it gets to one, right? If you're, I don't know, uh, eight maids of milking, you get down, you milk it, man. And you do it every, and so it's, it's, Who came uh, this, up with this? Who came up with this? I don't know. I don't know, man. It, it, uh, the, I remember it as far back as I can remember. Uh, so I, I don't know. I mean, my parents were doing it with uh, my aunt and my uncle. And oh. now we all have, like, I have kids and my sister has kids. And so it's mm -hmm. like they just love, like, jumping on the ground and acting like they're swimming, you know. And, and, and then someone, like, jumps on top of them and, like, lays an egg. <laughs> like on top of their head it just becomes like this crazy thing and so my family will all be together this christmas and so i i have no doubt uh that we will sing and act out the 12 days of christmas zane stevens thank you so much for speaking with us about rebuilding a dream christmas everyone's got to tune into this one thursday december the 23rd christmas eve eve 8 7 Chris central on lifetime it's part of christmas it's a wonderful Eve's lifetime. Eve. yeah we, we need to come up with a song Christmas Eve. Well, no, I don't know. I don't know about that. That was good. Good. Why don't you go up one more octave? Eve. <laughs> no, I'm getting... that's, that's, that's... Oh, I broke glass. Well, anyway, thank you everyone for tuning in and watching our craziness of it all. Zane, you have a great, happy holiday. Merry Christmas to you. Merry Christmas to you, Noah. Thank you for having me, buddy.